Hello everybody, I'm Francis with ID TV. Today I'm here with Adela from the other side of coffee. So tell me what the other side of coffee is. So it starts with the side of coffee that not a lot of people realize exists. Coffee comes from a berry. And what we drink in our morning coffee is the seed that's dried, roasted, ground, and brewed. But the seed comes from a berry that is loaded with antioxidants, polyphenols, and it tastes delicious. So we take that fruit, that berry, while it's still fresh, make it into a juice, and bottle it into the other side of coffee. So we're taking what is normally discarded, which can spoil, it, it uh, releases methane and CO2, and it's the largest source of agricultural waste in coffee growing regions. It pollutes water, uh, waterways and rivers, but the antioxidants and the polyphenols in it are really good for our brain health, for uh, immunity boosting for our cells, and it tastes delicious. So I would love for you to taste some. Yeah, no, that's super interesting. So what are other coffee companies, they're just discarding that outside berry? Mostly it's been discarded. So if you think about the fact that the world drinks two and a quarter billion cups of coffee every single day, this is one of the largest sources of agricultural waste and food waste that we have on the planet. And so most people don't realize we can make juices out of it, some of the applications that are out there is um, the coffee fruit is allowed to dry. And when it dries, um, you can make it into a powder and you can infuse other foods with it. But we take it while it's fresh and make 26% juice. I would love for you to try it. Yeah, I'd love to try it. Let's do it. Three flavors. Okay. Um, in, the, in the red is berry. And in the green, we have apple. And these are all natural flavors. And one with citrus. These are all flavors that play really well with the coffee fruit. So do you consider this a juice? It is 26% juice. So it is mostly derived from, it's derived from the coffee berry. We use the plant fibers and the juice and the pulp. So it does settle. So you're getting a really nice uh, hit of the juice. And so how do you, I guess, just to people who like love coffee, how do you describe this to them? and like get them to yeah. understand and convert. Because some people say, I love coffee. I've already had my cup of coffee, no thank you. But this is a fruity side. It doesn't taste like coffee. It doesn't compete with coffee. And um, one can has 30 milligrams of caffeine. So that's like, like a cup of green tea. So even people who love coffee can have a cup of this maybe in the afternoon when they want a little bit of caffeine, right? But like they want to be able to sleep. And then the people who say, I don't like coffee. I don't like how it tastes. That's great too, because it tastes fruity and sweet. Yeah. So it's not, again, it's coffee, but a side that people don't even know exists and can be delicious. And how did you get into this? Like, how did you find out about this entire industry? So one, um, we have a third partner who is a co-founder. She's an agro-industrial engineer. She teaches coffee production sustainability. She works with coffee farmers to find better and more sustainable ways to maximize the coffee. So in that way, as we were looking for coffee products, we discovered this co-product and all the potential to bottle it and to use it into foods. Incredible. And so if someone wants to find the other side of coffee and try it for themselves, how can they find you? So until now, we've been on Amazon through our website, coffee shops in Southern California, but we're uh, looking for retail and distribution so that you can find us in all of the grocery stores and convenience stores throughout the country, but starting here in Southern California. Amazing, thank you for your time and let's try the other side of coffee. Okay. This was Francis with IDA TV.